The completed assembly model concept can be seen here. CAD is an extremely powerful tool as it allows us to create visual models and engineering drawings. Drawings are essential for the more complex components as they are used to verify that the final products are made with intolerance. After the materials were purchased, woodworking was carried out in a garden workshop in our laundry room. After many failed attempts at a dry fit, assembly was achieved using sesh clamps and PVA glue. The legs were manufactured separately and fit within the table cavity on an individual pivot bar. After a lot of testing and calculations, 20 custom boards were made using an infrared transmitter, emitter and two diodes. There are 10 cups per side which are split into two sections, each is controlled by an individual Arduino Nano. Three LEDs surround each sensor within rings, these rings are split with foam to create a section pattern on the perspex. The grid is a 14 by 20 matrix, made by cutting up LED strips and reconnecting the ground 5 volts in data. The grid is split into four sections to reduce the maximum current flow. The matrix is split up using a foam grid which is placed over the LEDs and secured with hot glue. We used Arduino microcontrollers which communicated using the I2C protocol. This allowed us to transfer button presses and sensor information to the main controller. We used the fast LED Neo matrix library which allowed us to draw text and other graphics easily. What have we gained from this? An over-engineered, but semi-cool table.